So welcome back to the Sawmill. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Established Titles. Now friends, there's a lot going on today. Winter's getting close. I need to start taking some serious steps at getting the timber frame shop closed in. I did get one thing ready. We got the chicken run closed in for the winter. Hopefully this plastic will keep the cold air off the chickens so they can come out in the run during the day. The only thing I don't like about it is I can't see them unless I walk around here to the side of it. So a lot of you guys have been asking on the shop how we're gonna insulate the ceiling. Well, that's what we're gonna work on today. So stand by and we'll show you guys what I got in mind. Guys, today's video was sponsored by our friends at Established Titles. And right now they're having a huge Black Friday sale this month with their title packs. You get up to 10% off if you act right now. There's a link down below to their website. Be sure to use my code out of the woods at checkout to get 10% off. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords or lords and ladies in English. They also plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like the One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. Right now, the first 200 people purchasing the title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot or within walking distance. So for those of you that act right now, we can build our own little out of the woods kingdom in Scotland. This title pack also makes a great last minute gift because it gives you the title of a lord or a lady that you can use on your airplane tickets, your credit cards, or even your dating profiles. Now this title pack gives you at least one square foot of land on a private estate in Scotland with your plot number and you also get a certificate. All right, guys, I want to thank Established Titles once again for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. This makes a great gift. I got my wife one and also one for both of my parents because this is something that's not tangible that you can hand to somebody. It's more of a novelty gift. I really like the idea of it. So guys, once again, if you support my sponsors, it helps keep me here at the Sawmill making videos for you guys. Now let's get back to the video. All right, guys, we're down here in the timber frame and I'm not sure if I showed this on camera. I did finish this wall the other day. I got my hand saws hung right there and I ran out of shiplap on this wall. We'll finish that here in a few weeks, as soon as I get some more pine to run through the kiln. But what I've been working on is the ceiling in here, and that's what I came up with. I was gonna do shiplap up here, but I thought that would take forever. I found a local contractor who takes down old barns and recycles the lumber, and he sold me enough tin to do my ceiling at a pretty good price, actually. Let me get on the ladder and show you guys what I'm doing. So, right there's my trusses. I've got some two by fours running the other way and I'm just attaching that tin to the two by fours. After we attach each piece of the metal, I'm laying some batten insulation right up there on top of it. I think this is gonna be a good way to insulate the ceiling and do it for a whole lot cheaper than making my own shiplap. I think I got less than $100 in enough metal to do this ceiling in here. And as far as area goes, this part of the timber frame is 15 by 30. So that's pretty good right there, less than $100. Probably another two or $300 for insulation though to lay on top of it to get the ceiling done and insulated. Not too bad. And right here, friends, is my secret weapon on how I'm doing this by myself. That's a metal roofing gun. I got that at Harbor Freight for about a hundred bucks. And that does really well detaching this metal I was trying to use metal screws to install it, but by me being here by myself, trying to hold it up with one hand and have the driver in the other hand, it just wasn't gonna happen. That gun right there makes it a lot easier. And out here is all the metal that we bought. And right there, we have the hatefulest cat on YouTube, Mama Cat. Hello, Mama. That's a shocker, she's getting away from the camera as usual. 
But that was a really good value, friends. I looked all over Facebook for this stuff and I found a guy who is selling it. And I got that stuff for $2 a sheet. That's a pretty good deal around here. A lot of people were wanting 20 bucks for it. While we're outside, let me give you guys another update here on the shop. And I know, I know, I need a haircut. I'll probably go tomorrow and get one. I'm starting to look like a hippie. Thanks for noticing. A lot of people have been asking about the soffits and the light coming in the shop. Well, we finally started covering that up. I got some metal starting right there. As you can see it, I got one more piece left to put on. But that's gonna close in the soffits on both sides. And over here, I came up one piece of metal short from finishing the siding, but I think I got a really nice piece of cedar we'll put above the door. Before you guys explode in the comment section, I know what you're thinking. This is R19 four walls, but it was left over out of insulating the walls in here in the tool room, and I need to use it for something, so I'm gonna put it in the ceiling. After we run out of this stuff though, the rest of it will probably be R30 if I can find it. Having a hard time finding insulation right now. So if this goes as planned, which it probably won't because nothing ever does, it should just lay right on top of the metal and be done with it. I'm sure I'll have some trouble with something. There we go. That, I think, will work out pretty good. Famous last words. For a lot of you guys out there that are building your own shop, this is a pretty good uh, way of finishing the inside. This recycled barn tin or barn metal, whatever you want to call it, pretty cheap. And I think it looks pretty good. All right, so we got the runners right there, got the metal attached, and the insulation just lays right on top of it. Give me a thumbs up, guys. I think that looks pretty good. Well, now, get down off this ladder, We'll put up some more metal. You guys hang in there. Friends, I got three of those put up. It looks pretty good. I need to put up some more runners though because I'm out of room, I guess, as far as my runners go. I got a two by six right there, then a two by four and a two by four. I need to jump on the ladder and put up three more of those. And while I'm thinking about it, let me show you guys some other improvements I've done at the shop over the past few weeks. Right there's the wood stove and all the pipe, I'm going through the wall with my chimney pipe, I'm not going through the ceiling. So that's where the wood stove will be. I got some more insulation coming to finish up this wall and then we'll close that in. It should be here hopefully by the end of the week. And I put another lumber rack in right there, just like I did in the woodworking area or the wood or the hand tool area, that sounds a lot better, over in the other room. And something very important, guys, if you have a concrete floor, make sure your lumber is stored off the concrete. 
I use some two by fours and some plywood to make a base right there at the bottom. And that keeps the moisture in the concrete wicking up into your lumber because your wood will absorb that moisture, friends. You don't want that. But this is a really nice little uh, lumber storage area. I need to build probably two more of these. Got yellow poplar right there, pine, and some red cedar. All right, one more thing. We're in the molder room now. Right there's the molder. Look over that mess right there. I put some metal, or that barn tin rather, on this wall to cover up the OSB. And it looks pretty good, but I'm going to trim it out in red cedar to make it look even better. So before it gets too dark outside, I need to cut one more piece of metal to width to finish up that wall. That way tonight when I get sick and tired of working on this ceiling, which isn't going to be very long, that ladder's getting old, we can work on that wall and go ahead and run some cedar through the molder and finish out the trim. All right, so the width needs to be and it don't have to be perfect 18 inches and the reason it doesn't have to be perfect is because this edge right here will be covered with a piece of cedar now every time i use this tool on the channel people ask me about it this is a makita i think it's called a nibbler makita makes it and guys, I bought this on Amazon. Well, me and dad started putting this metal siding on this building, we didn't have this tool. And we was doing it all by hand and it took forever. If you're gonna do a lot of sheet metal work, get this tool and thank me later because it's expensive. I think it was about $350. And they do have a cordless option, but I went with the corded one because I didn't have any Makita batteries. So that's the reason I went with that. But uh, I would buy it again, guys. It's a very good tool. If you're interested in it, there's an Amazon link down below to my little affiliate store. You can go check it out, but it's a very good tool. People always ask me about it. It also helps to have it plugged up. My goodness. That looks awful right there. That's the worst cut I've ever made with this thing. I stopped cutting like three times to move the camera around. And every time I went back to cutting, it kind of went sideways with me there. It looks terrible. Go ahead and put this up and see how it looks. Hopefully my measurement was right. Key word is hope. We're in good shape right there. I'll hold it right here. One of you guys go grab my nail gun and I'll install it. What are you waiting on? I ain't gonna stand here all night. I'll just get it myself. Not bad for a hundred dollars. That makes this job go 10 times faster. My ladder is in the wrong place. <laughs> My goodness. Let's try again. All right, that'll buy me a little time.
All right, guys, the sun is going down. It's getting a little cooler out here. And I planned on putting cedar as my trim on that wall over there we put the metal on, but I'm low on cedar. I don't have enough to really go all the way around that metal. So we're gonna use poplar instead because I got plenty of it. And I kinda like poplar. It looks pretty good. We'll take this and run it through the molder and it'll be ready to go. That's one good thing about that molder, guys. You can take a rough saw on board and as long as it's not really, really terribly warped or got a really bad bow to it or, a, or twist, if it's decently sawed and dried pretty flat, you can run it through that molder and get a perfectly flat board every time. Go ahead and adjust our width. Where are we at right now? Three and a half. And the boards are four inches wide, so I think I'll leave that alone. Tell you what guys, this shop is a complete mess. I need to do better. My lumber is not long enough to do the entire uh, wall here with one piece. So I'm gonna have two pieces, but I'm gonna put my break toward the bottom because I'm gonna have a workbench against this wall and you won't see it. So if I did it up there, you guys would notice it and point it out in every video. So we're gonna put it down here so nobody sees it. But I'm not sure how I'm gonna fasten this because I got to go through the poplar, through the metal, through OSB, and then a two by four stud. And I don't think a brad nail will do it. Although I may try it. All right, guys, let's try out this brad nailer, see how it works. I'm gonna close my eyes. I would recommend you doing the same. Huh, it worked. Kind of surprised me. I didn't think it would go through all those different layers. Huh, let's try one more. Yeah, that one didn't go all the way in. It's sticking out about an eighth of an inch, but uh, it's not too bad. So pretty good progress today, friends. Today's Monday, I'm gonna to try to work on the shop every day this week and do some saw milling. Hopefully by Friday, we'll have this thing dried in and maybe even the doors built and that wood stove installed. Actually, that's pretty ambitious, probably not. But I'll try to get a lot done this week. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow on the next video.